Thanks for tuning in. Today at Rock Harbor, we began a series entitled A Modern Malachi. And we got through about oh half of chapter one and we looked at the fact that about 2,400 years ago, God rose up a prophet by the name of Malachi, whose name means the Lord's messenger, to deliver a message to Israel. And what happened to Israel, 430 BC roughly, is that they took their relationship with God for granted and began to give him the leftovers, the second best. And we identified in our study this morning that the book begins with a proclamation from God that says, I have loved you. In other words, before God issues his critique of what uh, Israel was doing and, and walking away from their uh, love relationship with him, he, he reminds them first, before the discipline, sets a foundation, I've loved you. We, we quoted from G. Campbell Morgan when he said, I have loved you, I love you, and I will love you. And we learned for us today that God's love is firm, that God's love is sure. Paul wrote to the church at uh, Rome that nothing shall separate us from the love of God. So we transition from the very beginning in Malachi chapter 1 where God offers this proclamation that I have loved you and looks at, we looked at a comeback. And Israel had the audacity to ask God, well, how have you loved us? And uh, the Lord in turn shared with them that they were a group of people who were taking him for granted. In fact, we learned that the Levitical priesthood was offering sacrifices in the daily offerings of animals that had uh, spots on them that were blemished. And the Levitical law taught that they had to offer animals that were without spot and without blemish, perfect animals. And uh, we transitioned and paralleled that to our life that God only deserves the very best because he's given us the very best. And what we're going to be looking at in the next uh, four, five, six weeks as we go through this great book, the last book in the Old Testament, is how God is calling us to be modern Malachites, to take the baton of God's love to the Central Coast and to share with them that there's a God in heaven that deserves our very best, that doesn't deserve our, our leftovers or our second best. So we're in for a ride. Uh, tighten your seatbelts. It's going to be a great study. So thanks for tuning in. You have an amazing week. We'll see you next Sunday.